So I want to show you this little tweak that anybody can do and they can transform their humble little space at home into a space that can bring you the ultimate relaxation, completely distress you and get you ready for the next day out inside the world. Okay, so behind me, I have the typical corner. This is probably the corner you're gonna expect in most bedrooms, in most homes. It's the reading nook for the most part. You have your chair, you have a reading book, a reading table, and some lighting. And you know, it's basic, and you might feel like, well, that's a relaxing space, but let me open up your mind to something that is a lot more relaxing. We're gonna turn that corner into an ultimate little massage suite. Stay through to the end because we have a bonus for you. First thing we're gonna do is clear our corner. We're gonna move everything, light, chair, table, and we're gonna replace that with a massage table. A massage table is pretty easy to get. It's really not that expensive. The one my husband got for me, I think, was two, less than 200. I think it was a lot less than 200, maybe more like 120. I'll, you know, I'll put the exact same one in the link that we got and um, well worth the expense. My chair, I remember getting that from Ikea a while and that was maybe like 60 itself. And then the lamp, that's 70, you know, together the lamp and the chair would be 70. The table, another 20. You have 90 right there. And you know, what's the difference between 120 and 90 when the difference in enjoying that space is exponential? It's grandly different. So let's show how you can do this. And I want you to remember, a lot of homes, a lot of people don't do, they don't transform their homes into healing and transformational spaces because they think they don't have room. You will be surprised to know how your eye will trick you into thinking a space is too small. That little corner right there is going to become quite spacious and quite an endearing looking massage corner. So let's get started. There it is, I cleared out my corner. As you see, it looks tiny and it looks useless. And I love when I can show you how you can take a seemingly useless space and create something grand from it. So we're gonna start with this bare corner and the first thing we'll add is a massage table. We have added our massage table and as you see, it fits really perfectly into that corner. That tiny, seemingly useless corner is now holding a massage table that's approximately six feet long and it fits exquisitely. It doesn't seem crunched. It doesn't seem like you can't work with it and there's gonna be a lot of room. I even left the corner open so that you can go on the other side should you need to, to give your massage. Now, we also wanna make it feel very zen and very calming and very relaxing a place that you actually, you're attracted to, you want to go to. It makes you feel like, you know, this is a place where I can just really feel great. Now, for as great as this looks the way it is, you can't stop there. You have to transform the entire space into a space that feels like a spa. It, it you know, just it sets your emotions into relaxation mode. It makes you feel like you're on vacation, feel like you're at a resort or a spa, and it makes you literally want to go to that space every day you get home. We're going to start with a bouquet of fresh cut flowers. Okay, as you see, I have added some beautiful gladiolas. They happen to be on sale at Whole Foods this week for $5 a bunch, so I got two. What a savings. I mean, you know, $10 to have that kind of beauty, that kind of nature in your home. You know, I couldn't beat it. Another trick to feel really good at home is actually, you probably know this one, is to have cut flowers in your home. The colors, the beauty, the fragrance, the spot of nature really does wonders for your senses. So we have our absolutely beautiful gladiolus, and we still wanna add a little more green, so we're going to also add a potted plant. Okay, I have added some beautiful green foliage, a beautiful green plant. Again, that brings in nature, and it you know lends a lot of organic beauty to the space, just further relaxing you and drawing your senses down and putting you more in a parasympathetic mode as opposed to that stressed out mode that people tend to be in way too often. So now we're gonna add another table because we're gonna need a surface to put the items that we need in order to carry on our massages. Okay, we've added our table. As you see, it has a driftwood look to it. Um, we stayed within the realm of the natural wood, again, to make it feel natural 
more organic. And that's the feeling we want, you know, to bring to the space. Something that says, I, you know, I'm one with nature, I feel good, I feel like I am in an organic space, and I don't have to think about anything man-made. I am outside, I'm in nature, I'm enjoying myself. Okay guys, I have added my essentials. And this is where you can get really creative. I just use organic coconut oil and organic essential oil. Coconut oil, and I'm gonna tell you why I use those two things. Coconut oil, um, organic always for me, and I always encourage everybody else organic as well. You don't want any man-made chemicals in anything that goes into your body because they do damage, you know, you know, real food and organic stuff does repair. But coconut oil has MCTs, that's medium chain triglycerides. It's a fatty acid that absorbs very easily for the purpose of the massage, absorbs very easily into the skin, and it literally replaces the bad fat inside of your body. So if you have toxic fat, the coconut oil with the strength of antimicrobials and the fact that it's a medium chain triglyceride can start to replace the toxic fat. So I love the use of coconut oil for massages and I use an organic essential oil. In this case, lavender. It can be so many. So many of them have some great uses. Lavender is a go-to for many, including me, because it helps to get you into parasympathetic mode fast. It stimulates your serotonin, and it brings down the stress levels. It's also very safe to use, and it smells wonderful. So one of my go-tos, I use a lot of essential oils, but lavender, a definite go-to. I also added a candle. The candle is not scented, it's just for the ambiance. I want the light um, because I also have some essential oils, lavender again, in my diffuser. I want it to smell like flowers to add to my glads and just keep the space really relaxing. A place that I wouldn't want to leave or my husband or whoever's getting that massage would not want to leave. And yes, the kids sometimes get the benefit of massage. Gotta do stuff for your kids, can't take it all. And you know, this is the type of space that we wanna be in, we look forward to coming home, and it's like something you can do other than just kind of wait stressed out for the next day to begin. So what I've added is my little bonus tip for you. A pot of organic health boosting herbs. I have a pot of organic basil. Basil has great health benefits. Right now for the purpose of the massage, the smell of basil is an energizer and a calmant for the mind. So when you're getting that massage and you have the lavender, you have the coconut oils, you're relaxing, you're getting all these benefits, just a waft of basil can also add to the relaxation of your mental space. And of course, that's gonna be important also for massage. The point is to heal holistically. So you want your body to get the benefits, you want your muscle and your tissue to get the benefits, of course you want your mind also to get the benefits. So that is my tip. It could be mint, it could be basil, there's so many benefits to herbs and spices, but keep it in your room because another benefit is whether you are just getting up and you just got out of the bathroom, you're about to go to work, you just pop a couple of leaves in your mouth. Again, energizes you, full of antioxidants, tastes great. Um, it refreshes your mouth without having to use a chemical like Listerine. So that's my tip for you. A pot of organic health boosting herbs in your room to be there at your disposal. Whether you're popping in your mouth for the smell and for the beauty. Okay guys, we're almost done, and I want to give you one more bonus. The one thing you can do in your space that massage parlors don't get the benefit of doing for themselves, but you can do for yourself, is an addition that I just love, and let me just show it to you. This is my beautiful fur throw. Oh my God, it feels so good on my feet. I actually bought it for my feet, it goes either to the end of the bed or if I'm giving a massage, it'll go to the end of the massage table because you want to be comfortable also, right? So if you're giving a massage, why not stand on something that feels soft and it's massaging you as well and you just kind of feel like you're in heaven. So that's my little tip to add to your massage. So that's it, guys. This is the space. It's finished. Isn't it beautiful? This is something that's gonna transform your evenings. When you get home, no matter what the day threw at you, you get on this massage table, you get a nice little rub down, nobody has to be a professional, just some care and some oil and a rub down and some good music, little meditation music, and this is gonna give you the energy to start any day, feeling like you can tackle whatever life throws at you. So I hope you like my space, comment below, let me know what you would have done differently, if you like it, 
how you would have changed it. And of course, if you do the same thing and I encourage you to, post your pictures. Comment, let me know, find me somehow. I just, I wanna see your space. And I want everybody to begin enjoying life to the absolute fullest, starting from home.